I'm in this phase of like where God is restoring things that were taken from me, like in my teen years or whatever. But it seemed like that that not the same stuff I dealt with, but that same emotional burden is on me. But Mm -hmm. now that I've grown and mature, I don't have to handle it that way. So it's like I'm I am challenging myself with everything that I've learned and everything God has built me up to be and walking in it. And even when I feel myself like, oh, I don't know, this is what my normal self would do. It's like the Holy Spirit is guiding me like, now this is what you, this is is how you need to stand or whatever. Because without getting too deep into this, the job of the Holy Spirit is to privatize or personalize the truth of God to your situation. That's his job. His job is to make it true for you. It's true because it's true, but his job is to make it true for you so that you are experiencing its truth and not only learning it to quote it. You are learning it to experience it. He is the experiential one to make the voice of God heard in your heart so that it is God talking to you, not just talking to all. Our connection with him is what enables us to obey the command of 2 Timothy, another scripture, 2 Timothy 2.15, which says, do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who has no need to be ashamed, rightly, rightly handling the word of truth. The disciples of Jesus were not expected to figure everything out on their own. That was not the expectation. And neither are we. We don't have to try to figure out everything the scriptures are saying to us or instructing us or commanding us to do. We don't have to do that on our own. Instead, we will be guided by the Holy Spirit. Or the spirit of truth. Somebody say the spirit of truth. Like the Holy Spirit is the, who leads people to Jesus. No man has ever led anybody to Jesus. Woo. I led that person to Christ. You didn't lead nobody to Christ. The Holy Spirit reveals Jesus. That's the order. <laughs> yep. Okay. Jesus died on the cross for our sins. The Holy Spirit brings us to Jesus. And Jesus baptizes us in the Holy Spirit. That's how that works. But this whole this whole premise that I led this person to Jesus, eh, you can talk all you want to, unless the Holy Spirit convicts that person of sin and, and, and reveals Jesus to them, they're never going to know it. So we don't reveal Jesus to anybody. We, we, we speak and proclaim Jesus. And as we speak and proclaim Jesus, he convicts people's hearts. That's why we never need anybody to be Holy Ghost Jr., like, like, oh, we got all these, we got all these Holy Ghost Junior Police out here, really coming behind, trying to like do the Holy Spirit's job. Like, you need to know that you're in sin, and you need to know that you're gonna bust hell wide open. And, like, may I remind you that the day I gave my life to Jesus Christ, there was no sermon preached and no altar call given. Ask me how I know that the Holy Spirit brings people to Jesus. Ask me how I know that He don't need a preacher. The Holy Spirit brought me to Jesus. Because the Holy Spirit is the one that convicts people of their sins. That's what Jesus said. Go back and read John 14, 15, 16. This is what he said. He came to give us the promise of the Holy Spirit. That was the promise to his disciples, and we are his disciples. People are on a journey. They are on a spectrum. They are trying to work this out. And you can't ask somebody that's been very deep in sin for years and years and years Mm -hmm. to have this Thanos snap change Mm. in a week. Like, it's not going to happen. Like, Mm -hmm. going to growth track for four weeks is not going to make my situation change that I've been in for 50 years. Mm -hmm. That's real. So trying to help people to understand that this is a journey and that it's not like a instantaneous change. You, your soul is saved at the moment you confess Jesus Christ as Lord. Mm-hmm. But there's a process to get your mind and your body 
to match where your soul and your spirit is. So, so let's let's let's. It's going down, it's going up, we showing out and showing up. Wait, don't look now, the score is what? Okay, now they know what's up. It's going down, it's going up, we showing out and showing up. Wait, don't look now, the score is what? Okay, now they know what's up. It's going down, it's going up, we showing out and showing up. Wait, don't look now, the score is what? Okay, now they know what's up. It's going down, it's going up, we showing out and showing up. Wait, don't look now, the score is what? Okay, now they know what's up. It's going down, it's going up, we showing out and showing up. Wait, don't look now, the score is what? Okay, now they know what's up. It's going down, it's going up. We showing out and showing up. Wait, don't look now, the score is what? Okay, now they know what's up. It's going down, it's going up. We showing out and showing up. Wait, don't look now, the score is what? Okay, now they know what's up. It's going down, it's going up. We showing out and showing up. Wait, don't look now, the score is what? Look up at the jumbo tron, they got us on the screen. I can walk you through the tunnel behind the smoke, beyond the screens, behind the scenes. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I felt that thing. Uh -huh. there, 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 there's, not, there's not a human being alive with enough grace on their life communicatively to preach about an invisible man and have somebody accept that invisible man. Who has seen him? Who knows him? Who has the proof? Only one person has the proof, and it ain't us. It's who lives on the inside of us. May I remind you of Romans chapter number eight, verse number 11. The same spirit that raised Christ Jesus from the dead lives in us. He's the one that, ooh. He is the one that proclaims that he is alive. Why? He is the one that made him get up. So the same spirit that raised Christ Jesus from the dead lives in me. He's the one that testifies that he's alive. I'm convinced because he's in me. The the biggest thing is just it's just that spiritual wisdom. Like that that I think that's you the biggest lesson from this is having that spiritual wisdom and being able to recognize like Thank you, Lord. 